Now, Kenya's Environment and Land Court is set to make a decision Monday on President William Ruto's move to lift a logging moratorium. The Law Society of Kenya argues that the move disregards the role of forests in climate change mitigation and biodiversity preservation. Now, Ruto defended his decision, saying it was, quote, foolishness to let mature trees rot while sawmills were importing timber, adding that lifting the logging ban would create jobs. The once silent sawmills echo with the sounds of renewed activity. Loggers, who had been idled for over half a decade, are now returning to work. This revival comes after Kenya's president, William Ruto, lifted a long-standing ban on logging. For sawmill owner Bernard Getao, the decision is a lifeline for an industry in dire straits. The people that I had to let go, when they had now the ban, the, uh, the, the, the ban had lifted up, they were calling me, they were so anxious, they were excited, they never believed it would come back. According to government figures, Kenya's timber industry employs 50,000 people directly and another 300,000 indirectly. By lifting the ban, the country's president hopes to stimulate the economy and re-employ thousands. Critics have accused the government of hypocrisy as the president has pledged to plant 15 billion trees in Kenya. Greenpeace Africa's Tracy Maketi sees the move to lift the ban as contradictory to the country's climate change agenda. Right now, especially with the, the way the climate crisis is, we can't have cutting down trees and replanting trees in the same sentence. It cannot work that way. However, the country's environment ministry insists that logging will be restricted to plantation forests, specifically established for wood harvesting. We don't do any logging in the indigenous forest. They are the, the areas that are for protection and for environmental purposes. Despite these assurances, conservationists have voiced concerns that this policy could lead to an alarming rate of deforestation. For the sawmillers, they hope the courts will uphold the president's decision to lift the ban, as their livelihoods depend on it. So how can Kenya's forests be managed more sustainably? I asked Alex Lemakoko, who is the new head of the Kenya Forest Service. Uh, forest management is guided by principles of forestry practice. It's also guided by international protocols of forestry management, uh, domestic uh, uh, instruments and laws uh, that guide on what must be done in forest management. But even uh, having uh, lower forest practice, we have what we call management plans, participatory forest management plans, that basically outline uh, the various interventions that require uh, to be undertaken in the forest ecosystems for us to be able, first of all, to identify the areas for conservation only. And these are what we call indigenous forests or natural forest areas. But at the periphery of all our forestations, we have areas that are designated for what we call rational um, uh, utilization of forest resources. This is why we have the, what we call the intervention areas where the the communities interact with the forest resource uh, through uh, being allowed by the law uh, to benefit either directly or indirectly mm. from a rational utilization of our forest, including uh, what uh, we call a non-destructive uh, use of our forests. Now, plantations happen to be within that zone uh, that has been zoned for only uh, uh, planting, uh, tending, and harvesting okay. at the biological station age. How is Kenya collaborating with other African countries to address deforestation and protect Africa's natural capital? It's something that you're directly involved in, aren't you? Yes, yes, it's very much. Uh, we, we collaborate. We have uh, 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 various forms. Uh, that are basically guided by uh, the African Protocol on uh, uh, Conservation, uh, Environmental Conservation, uh, that basically looks at uh, how Africa can uh, 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 utilize its resources for uh, economic development, but also for environmental conservation and uh, addressing the issues of climate change. So we uh, cooperate through uh, the African, what you call regional protocols, 
in fact at uh, the east african the eastern african region we have uh, the eastern um, uh, natural conservation uh, mm. protocol uh, that basically guides on how we uh, as african uh, east african countries can work together we have forums uh, that brings together the various forest agencies in all the countries where we discuss issues and uh, come up with uh, plans right. to address issues of cross border management yes okay alex lamakoko chief conservator of forests at the kenya forest service thank you very much for your time thank you very much